there's about 3,700 of you subscribing to my channel. And I'm grateful for that. And I gotta say that one of you is about to feel especially special because I'm going to personally respond to your comment. And I like this comment. And I think we need to have this conversation. We need to have this talk. I made a video called Testing My Hair Loss Theories on Chris Evans, Captain America? Question mark. Obina Obiyama had this to say, quote, love your page, Nick. Perhaps you should expand your testing theories to other races, especially black men, end quote. And by the way, this is a good looking black man. I can see the, this thumbnail. This guy looks like a model. Uh, I'm happy to make this video. And I've, I've mentioned this before a few times last year, but I wanted to kind of do the 2018 version uh, of this video. Uh, what if I were to expand my hair loss theories to other races, especially black men? Let's do that. Um, I will say that pretty much my hair loss theories do carry over to all races, especially black men, but at the same time, that's kind of why black men don't watch my channel because the effects of hair loss, in my theory here, they carry a lot less weight if you're a black man, and here's why. Fundamentally, and this is my bias, black men are the most physically attractive race. That's what I believe. I believe that it takes less work to make a black man look good than it does a man of any other race. Uh, I'll give you an example here, okay? Hairstyles alone, a black man can pull off a mohawk, a faux hawk, dreadlocks, short hair, shaved head, mustache, beard, goatee, easily. A white guy can't do that off the bat. If I have a mustache, remember, I'm not 40 yet. If you're a white man under the age of 40 and you have a mustache, then you're either trying to be ironic and funny, you're a cop, or you're a creep. Those are the only options. White guys don't get a pass for mustaches unless we're at least four years old. And if I were to have a goatee, I would look like a redneck. I would look like I should go shoot a gun and listen to country music and drive my truck through the mud kind of thing in every stereotypical way. It looks really weird on me, in my opinion. If you're a black guy, you just look good no matter what. Uh, it's, so it, as far as my hair loss theories, uh, before I talk more about how good looking black men are, I want to talk about uh, my hair loss theories and just in general, I, as we've talked about before, um, if you grow a beard sooner in life, you're more likely to lose your hair right? If you're more European, then you're more likely to lose your hair sooner in life. Where does that fall if you're a black man? Well, being that I have another DNA, another YouTube channel that's about DNA test results, it's called Family Friendly Daddy Blog. That's mainly all I talk about on that channel. And I've made several videos uh, dedicated to uh, black people. And I've said, share your results with me, your DNA. I'm curious to know basically how African are you if you identify as black. And most people who identify as black, and I don't mean like mixed or half white, or like they identify as black or African American, what I've learned is most people are somewhere uh, around like two thirds to three quarters African and the rest is European. And then sometimes Native American if they're African American. But the point is this, most black people, especially in America, while they are mostly African descent, there's most African Americans definitely have a decent amount, maybe a quarter, maybe even up to a third of European DNA in there. So I've always said, the more Asian you are, the less likely you are to go bald, the less likely you are to grow a beard. The more European you are, the more likely you are to uh, go bald sooner, but have a, a good beard, especially young. And then, I would say somewhere in the middle is probably where black men would be because the black men aren't Asian and black, most black men and most African Americans especially are going to have some European DNA in there. So for the most part, I'd say if you're a black man, you've probably got the best of both worlds to some degree. I feel like in general, most black men keep their hair longer and they also can grow a good beard. That's what I've experienced. Now there definitely are exceptions to the rule, but you've got some advantages already as compared to being of European descent. If you're African descent and mostly African descent, the odds are in your favor that you're not going to lose your hair is sooner compared to a white guy, same age as you. Okay. 
But beyond that, I feel that's the, the least important thing. What I feel is, I can't help but notice that so few black men watch my channel. While I'm happy to have everyone here, so few black men watch my channel. And I thought, fundamentally, why is it? Is it because I'm not black? If I were black, would I have more? Maybe, maybe so, but still, that's not really the point. The point is, and I've learned, and people have agreed with me on this, in general, black men care a lot less about going bald. Why? Again, going back to how I started this video, my opinion, black men, by default, are sort of like the most attractive, handsome race of men that exist. They require the least amount of work to look good. Uh, I first learned this about a decade ago when I was ironically eating ice cream, ice cream with my wife while watching The Biggest Loser. That was when I was, that was way before I was a vegan. I've been a vegan for over five years now. And when I was, uh, we were watching this, they had, there was like the makeover episode where if you make it like to the top six or whatever, they give you a free makeover. So, you know, the women get the haircut and the makeup and the new wardrobe and, and some of the men, you know, same thing, they will get the best possible haircut for themselves and get the, but on this particular season, and he was one of my favorite contestants on the show that season, there was a black guy, an African-American guy, and he already had hair like this. Like his hairline was about like mine. He maybe had like a number one guard. This is a zero. And what, what did they do for this guy for his makeover? They put him in a suit and they sat him down in the chair to make it look like they were going to do something, but there was nothing to do to his hair. It already looked great. So they really didn't do anything, but just put him in the suit and he looked great. So for the big reveal, everyone's coming out. Hey, we all got a makeover, the biggest loser. And I'm thinking, they didn't have to do anything to him because black men look good. Black men already have, in my opinion, their facial features are, are, are already just so masculine. With the darker skin, it downplays the, the hairline to begin with. So even if when a, a black man shaves off all of his hair or shaves it real short, it already looks good. Man, I mean, so th th there you go. That's why I don't talk more about black men and hair loss because they're not watching my channel to begin with because fundamentally they know that their hair loss doesn't bother them like it bothers all the other races. I just think that black men are the most attractive uh, race. They're the most attractive men that exist. They can pull off so many looks. They can definitely pull off the shaved head look. They can pull off even a mustache that I still got about three more years before I can, before I'll get my pass on not looking like a creep, a, a hipster or a cop. There you go. Hey, I'm happy to talk more about this. If there's any other black men watching my videos and you've got questions for me, I'm happy to, to make videos for you. There's just so few of you that are concerned about hair loss. And I think that's an interesting thing that I've kind of observed about black men that psychologically they're less bothered by hair loss because it really holds less weight for them. You know, and there's certain little interesting patterns like that we see. I mean, hair loss doesn't bother black men. In the same way, I could say, have you ever noticed that girls with eating disorders uh, tend not to be like from low income families? Uh, they tend to be sort of upper middle class. You know, we can say that that's a mental disease for eating disorders for girls, but ultimately it's interesting how it affects certain demographics. And that's just one random example of how certain psychological things affect certain demographics of people more so than others. But when it comes to hair loss affecting black men, I'm just not seeing that it matters to, to black men like it matters to all the other races. Now I'm ending this video itself with a question mark. This is my theory and I'd love, whether you're black or not, I would love for you to give me your input on this. I would love to learn, is, is there truth in what I'm saying today? Fundamentally, psychologically, do black men care less about going bald, about, about hair loss, because they're already so handsome and their hair loss is less noticeable because their skin tone more closely matches their hair color anyway. And I think too, from an American perspective, if there's one uh, race that is considered like uh, cool by default, it's black men. Black guys are cool. 
you know? And so whatever they're doing, they can pull it off. And the rest of us try to maybe emulate that to some degree and the black guy looks get better doing it. You know, that's how I think. So when, when it comes to hair loss, I just don't think black men are bothered. But that's only what I said. What did you say in the comments? Maybe I don't know anything. Maybe I need to learn. But this is my theory, ultimately, on why, in general, black guys don't watch my channel and black guys aren't worried about hair loss because they already look so good.